in this video I'll show you how to use the scanner actually I should say scanners because there's two of them I'll show you how they work on your HP Envi 6400 series printer this is a 6452E but it works with any other HP Envi printer that's looking just like this one so let's get started well, first you'll need to connect your printer to a smartphone or a computer. I'll show you how to do it with a smartphone, but if you want to do it with a computer, just check my other videos in this channel and you'll see I've done it as well. On the back of the printer over here under the power button, there is a Wi-Fi button, the one that is round, and you'll need to keep it pressed during three seconds. And once you keep it pressed, you'll notice that this light over here will turn to purple. So let me do it and you'll see what I mean. So I'm pressing it right now. Two, three. Now I release it and the light turns to purple. Perfect. This means that this printer is in pairing mode. Now take your smartphone. It could be an Android device or an iPhone. It's the same exact process and you'll go and download the HP Smart App in the App Store or Google Play Store. It should look just like this one over here, HP Smart made by HP Inc. So download it, in my case I'll just update it. Once the app is downloaded, just launch it. So this is the main menu of the app. I have already connected a printer in the past, so this is why I'm seeing it. But if you didn't connect any printer, you're going to see add printer here, a big button you need to click on. If you don't see it, don't worry, just click on the plus symbol on the top right corner over here and then tap on get started. From here, you're going to select Wi-Fi and press continue. Continue. Then on this list, you should see NVIVE 6400 series. You're going to tap on it. And here, this is your Wi-Fi network of your home. Maybe it's the one at your office if you're actually located there. You'll need to tap the password of this Wi-Fi network. Once you're done, press continue. At this step, they ask us to press the I button that is located right over here. Just press it once and then the setup will continue on your phone. Then you'll receive the message that the printer is connected to the Wi-Fi. You're going to press the continue button. Then at this step, it's up to you if you want to accept uh, what they propose here. I suggest that you decline optional data because I never encourage you to share your personal data with um, companies like HP. Then from this screen, you're gonna press do not activate HP+. Not that I am against this program, it's just I think you need time to read about it and get informed before accepting it. So you can always go back and accept the HP Plus program. Don't worry, decline HP Plus here. Continue. They're really push continue. They are really pushy about it. And um, yeah, I think you should uh, read this and see if it fits your lifestyle and your budget first before accepting it. Next step, I suggest you select do not enable ink delivery again. Not that is a bad program. I'm actually enrolled in it. You just you, you need time to read everything about it before accepting. And I don't think you're uh, in a good position right now to make a decision. So just skip the offer and you can read this after and check reviews and what people say about it. Here, I recommend you select auto update. This is for the firmware, so you don't have to worry about it. Apply. And finally, it will ask if you want to print a document right now, a test document. Again, I think it's not worthy. You're just going to waste some ink for something that won't be useful. So skip printing page. Not right now. And finally, after everything we just did, you'll be in the main menu of the HP app. And you should see over here, 
HP NVI 6400 series on the top with your ink levels. Now next step once you download the app is to open this lid over here like this. Take your pages of your document, make sure they're aligned and, and every page is in the right direction. Okay, so in my case this is the top. So what I will do is to place them facing up with the text facing up in this small tray over here and make sure that the top of the page is going first in the printer. So I'll just glide them like this and the printer will make a sound when it detects the paper. Then take the app and you need absolutely to have an HP account to make this work because if you don't have an HP account, even if you connected the printer with your smartphone, it won't work. They absolutely want you to have an HP account that you can create over here where it says account for free. It takes just a few minutes and yeah, you absolutely need it. Then on the app, you go down and you're going to go in printer scan. Then from here, you're going to tap this top panel of the screen and you're going to make sure that under source document feeder is selected. If not, just tap on it and select document feeder. Then if you're scanning some pictures, I recommend to you that you tap on resolution and select 300 DPI because this will give you more resolution, therefore more details. And finally, you can select if you want this scan to be in color or just in black and white. I'll keep it in color. Once you're ready, you're just going to press this white button and you're going to wait. The printer will take by itself each pages one by one and scan them. Don't touch absolutely anything. We'll come back when this is done. Okay, the printer just finished taking all the pages in. We're going to wait just a few seconds. It'll make a noise. Here we go. And you're going to see all the pages adding up over here in the app. Don't touch anything and they will appear over here. If one of them is not rotated properly, you can click this button to rotate it. Okay. And then when you're ready, you're going to press on the save button that is on the bottom. Then you're going to give this a new name. Let's say, uh, the document test. Okay. And then under file type, you're going to click on it and you're going to select basic PDF. Finally, click save. This will save all these pages into one single document. But before that, we need to select where on the smartphone you want this document to be saved. In my case, it's in downloads. That is the default folder, but you can change this if you're not happy. You know, you can go anywhere on your phone, any folders. I'll still, I'll still save it in downloads and press the save button over here when you're ready. The document is now saved in one single PDF. Let me show you how to use the other type of scanner that this printer has. It's very easy. You're going to take your paper and you'll need to uh, put it facing down with the top part in this direction. Okay. So this is the top part. I'll put it like this and you're going to align it with this corner over here. What I mean is you need to glide the paper until it goes right in this corner. Then you can close this lid on the app. While here, I will just say, yes, start a new scan. Go on the top at the source. Instead of document feeder, we are going to select scanner glass, go back. And this is important. If you're scanning some pictures and you need uh, many details in your scan, in the resolution here, you're going to tap and you're going to select the highest number, which is 300 DPI. In my case, I'm just scanning some text and it's just to show you how it works. So I'll just keep it at 200. Here again, you can select if you want it in color or not. Go back. And when you're ready, you're going to press this white button on the bottom.
and you just have to wait. If you're scanning a picture, it will take more time than if you're scanning a document at 200 dpi. Okay, so here we have the scan. If you want to modify these, you can just drag them to align it with the actual page of your document. If not, just press next on the top. And from here, you can rotate the document like I just showed you. You can print, share, save, do whatever you want to do with these buttons on the bottom. So I hope this video was useful. If so, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to this channel, and I will see you in the next one.